Fertile for talented footballers, Brazilian ground gave us another prodigy. His name is Hendrik. Real, Barcelona, and other giants are already pursuing the boy. As you have guessed, today we are gonna introduce you to a player who very soon may become the new Vinicius or Neymar. This is the next best section which you love to watch. So give this video a like and let's get started. Hendrik was born in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. He is now 16 years old and plays as a center forward. However, his characteristics also allow to go for attacking wings. Hendrik represents the club Palmeiras from the city of Sao Paulo. Interestingly enough, as a child he could have ended up on another side from the metropolis, the Sao Paulo club of the same name. However, the faith team refused to pay for Hendrik's family living in another city and lost the chance to get the prospect. Palmeiras immediately saw something special in the boy's qualities. Needless to say, at the youth level, Hendrik was tearing apart all his peers. By the start of the 2022, he had 168 goals in 170 appearances. Even then, he was seen as a promising professional, but his performances eventually got shiny later on. The actual hype around the boy escalated right after the tournament called the Sao Paulo Cup or Copinha. The latest campaign took place in January of this year, being a competition between the youth teams of the country's best academies and followed by scouts of many clubs from all over the world. At one time, Copinha revealed to the world to such names as Cafu, Kaká, Neymar, Casemiro, Marquinhos, Gabriel Jesus, Anthony and many others. Nevertheless, Hendrik was on fire throughout the tournament, leading Palmeiras to the triumph. The young forward scored six goals in seven matches within the tournament, becoming the youngest player in his club's history to both win the cup and score in the competition. Moreover, he became the best player of Copinha and also received the award for the best goal of the tournament. Such a wonder goal made the whole world discuss him. Hendrik is hardworking. Dreamy 15-year-old boy who evolves every day by his mentality, by the way he works and faces every training, game. But there is a lot to evolve, stated the coach of the champion team, Paulo Victor Gomez. Although the press often compares Hendrik to Vinicius because of the path they have been through and in fact because of him being compatriots, it would be much more appropriate to compare him with Kylian Mbappe. Believe it or not, but Hendrik has much more in common with the Frenchman. Both have similar dribbling techniques, consisting of sharp and unpredictable maneuvers. Both play up front, but tend to proceed to the flanks and work with the ball. Like Kylian, Hendrik is a versatile performer. He is able to score after solo runs, double-footed and does a good job on aerial duels. Still, Hendrik is a bit stronger physically than Mbappe, so he can withstand the tackles better. But he, unlike Killian, doesn't have such a crazy pace, although one definitely cannot call him a slow runner. I like and I identify with Mbappe, as he's young and because I have his characteristics. The kid himself admitted similarities with the Frenchman. What distinguished Hendrik from many of his attacking compatriots is his willingness to stay on his feet and finish the episode. He has no intention to fall on the lawn and earn free kicks after every contact. On the contrary, if given the opportunity, he would rather choose to continue the attacking attempt than stop the game. In Spain, the media is already calling Hendrik a phenomenon. The same way, not just anyone, but Ronaldo Luis Nazario himself was called. Imagine the level of pressure and responsibility the boy carries on. Attacking players of a profile like his have always been highly valued, so there will be a line of clubs willing to lure the player to their side. Then, his future is up to his feet. According to FIFA rules, Hendrik is not allowed to play a board until he turns 18, until the 2024-25 season to be exact. So for the next two years, we can see a real battle raging between the major league representatives for the right to sign a young starlet. At the moment, Real Madrid are looking the favorite for this race, and there are several good reasons for that. Firstly, mind the example of Vinicius and Rodrigo, who followed the similar path. 
Both were penned by Real before they got 18 years old and already after coming of age, they joined Madrid and built their careers on successful notes. Secondly, Hendrik knows Vinicius and communicates with him on social media platforms. Receiving Vinicius' shirt was great. He was in a spectacular moment and sent me this shirt. I support him very much. Hendrik shared his joy. Thirdly, Hendrik is known to be a Real Madrid supporter and he doesn't hide his dedication to Las Blancas. I love Real Madrid a lot. I read Real Madrid's history. I'm rooting for them to win another Champions League, he mentioned in an interview with Marca Paper. It should be noted that Hendrik's wish did come true and the Merengues did succeed in the tournament. What's more, in February, the Brazilian planned his vacation party with a purpose to attend their matches. He was first spotted in a Champions League away clash against PSG and then in Madrid, watching La Liga fixture with Los Blancos at Santiago Bernabeu. To crown it all, Hendrik made another confession when asked who his idol is. Cristiano Ronaldo. I must follow his path, he said. Mark, a journalist, Jose Diaz, also reports in Real Madrid leading the competition for the player. Blancos are in talks with Palmeiras to recruit the youngster for 30 to 40 million euros, providing him a contract that will be activated in two years. It's very gratifying for me to know that Real Madrid are watching me. I thank God very much. I have a long way to go. Andrik modestly commented on links with Madrid. However, being favorites doesn't always mean a guaranteed deal. Last month, Barcelona stepped on the scene regarding the Brazilian's move. According to Sport S, in September, Barca representatives met with Hendrik's agents in order to discuss the details of a possible agreement and agree on financial terms. In the summer, Hendrik sealed his first professional contract with Palmeiras, which, according to rumors, contains a release clause with a value of around 30 to 40 million euros. Barcelona's plan is to get the player next summer and keep him alone at his club for a while. Therefore, he will join the Blaugrana in the summer of 2024, by the time he turns 18. PSG could intercept Andrik too. With the new sporting director Luis Campos at the club leadership, the Red and Blues intend to launch a new global scouting campaign, the epicenter of which will be located in South America. The matter was reported by Brazilian journalist Joaquim Piera. PSG want to make a statement out of Andrik's arrival, indicating the club's serious intentions for the transfer market and long-term signings in general. Recently, the club, as they say, stepped on the gas pedal regarding the transfer of a Brazilian whiz kit. English Premier League Goliaths, led by Manchester United, are showing specific interest in Andrik. Of course, the chances of seeing the striker in England at the moment are too low, because if there is a choice to make, Brazilians often choose countries with a warmer climate. Andrik's family is calm about the future of their offspring. His father said in the winter, Andrik has a dream to enter the history of Palmeiras. Indeed, this striker is currently focused on establishing himself and gaining game experience in the first team of his hometown club and winning trophies. Before turning 18, he still has two full years to improve his already incredible qualities, help his team and prepare for a big move to Europe. We sincerely wish him to make the choice he may find best, continue to work hard and not to get starstruck due to such a strong interest in his persona. Folks, write in the comments below in which club you would like to see Andrik and where he has the best chances to prove himself at best. Will it be Real, where Vinicius and Rodrigo will help him to progress, or maybe Barcelona, where Ronaldinho and Neymar shown? Or maybe he should choose another, the completely original path and try to surprise everyone. Be sure to subscribe to our Inside Football project. We watch football from a different angle. That's all for today. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.